Okay, so as we get started here, the basic layout of what we're using for material is going to be a very simple uh, small light bulb socket, small light bulb, the nice uh, Edison filament style, looks really cool. We're using uh, two, two half inch three ways, three half inch 90s. A, uh, a half inch female to female and then some other miscellaneous and that's pretty much just the basis of what we're going to use to make up our robot uh, I went through and a bunch of these pieces that I knew I don't need to move again I've already went through and tightened them up like with these here tighten up the pipe wrench got them nice and snug the rest of these that I need to get into a certain position those will use some Loctite some thread lock, put a little dab on there and get on there so that it keeps it nice and uh, nice and sturdy that won't move around on us but we'll try to get them as tight as possible with the uh, the pipe wrench also. So first things first we're going to mount the light and the socket and his arm that will represent his sword or his torch and what I like to do is run this right down and through here Take a little bit of our JB Quick Weld. And as everyone knows that I'm a huge fan of using this for holding connections together, mounting the lights, for a couple of the bonuses that it sets up the JB quick weld sets up really quick uh, it's non-conductive it's also a similar color to the to the pipe so it blends in well this one that's not going to be as big of a concern because we're going to paint it when we're all said and done and then you want to lift the socket up a little bit higher than you're actually going to want it And start coating around it. And then I'll get just that little bit in there. And then the other nice thing about the the quick weld is that I can actually just hold it here for a little bit and it'll set up enough that I can then just lay it off to the side. It's already getting pretty, starting to get noticeably stiffer. And the only thing you want to kind of watch is just trying to make sure that you have the light bulb fairly, you know, reasonably vertical, straight up and down. Okay. And then you could even, if I'd really thought about it, I would have left the light bulb just barely screwed in so I could pull it out so I wouldn't have the weight of the light bulb on there. But we'll hold this for a minute and it'll be good to go. So we've let this set up for a little bit. This is nice and solid now. And so we can start putting this arm together. And again, like I said, we'll use a little bit of, just a little bit of Loctite. put it through what'll be his shoulder. Make 
Let me back up here just a quick second. With any of the uh, the sharp 90s, I like to use a quarter inch flexible hose. And then use that to protect the wire itself. If I can get it through the 90, there we go. And then again, we'll give it just a little bit. right in there and then I might give myself just another little chunk flexible tubing right here through this 90 just to make sure that I protect these wires go and then this particular one doesn't have a lot of extra wire on it but we'll make do so I probably could have soldered on some extensions beforehand but there's still plenty right there for me to, to solder pretty easily. Uh, but it wouldn't have hurt had I made these wires, made a connection, soldered on these a little longer before I made this attachment. So now we have the arm on there and that wiring. And then we're going to do the same thing with our switch. There we go. And so now I'm going to take the switch over here. We can just feed them through the tube. Plus it makes it a lot easier to get through corners of 90s. And then help so that the wire will easily rotate as we're tightening a fitting.
And there we go. Now we have our wires coming through on both sides. We have our light, our switch. Okay, so we have the upper body here and I did like I mentioned and I actually went and soldered on some extensions because those wires were pretty short. Probably could have made them work but this is just a lot easier. So as a reference, when you guys are uh, doing this, if you're using the same style of light socket as I am where it's not that long of the leads, uh, you want to weld on, solder on, excuse me, solder on some uh, addition, additional length, couple inches on there, give you a lot more to work with. So what we'll do is these two right here are coming from the light. These two are coming from the switch over here. And so what we'll do is we'll take the black from the light, solder it to one of the blacks from the switch, and then these two will go to our incoming lines. So we'll have one line, the black will be going to the switch, the red will be going straight to the light bulb, so that this way you have power to both of these, that way you turn the switch, continues the power through the black up to the light and your light will come on. So we'll go ahead and solder these connections together. Make sure with this one where you're soldering these two together coming out of the switch going into the light bulb that you put, if you're using heat shriek, to put your shrink tube on first. I know that sounds a little bit silly but I myself have been caught a few times where I've made my nice connection, got it all nice and soldered up and then realized I didn't have the heat shriek tube in place and had to actually go through and cut the, uh, the wire back apart or go with something like electrical tape, put a little bit of the uh, rosin on there. And we'll solder this connection. Nice. And then we can just make sure you let it cool down just a little bit before you try to push your heat shrink tube back over or else it'll clamp down on it before you've gotten your tube across. And then a lot of people just use like a Bic lighter or if you just have a nice heat gun. And there you go. Okay, so now we'll connect our two leads in. There we go. A little bit of that on there.
So now we have the upper body here. The wires are all nice and neatly put together. Uh, we have our main wire coming in. Here our black is going up, going to the switch, coming back out, and then connecting into the light. And then our red wire here is just going straight up into the light. So that, that way, as we turn the switch, we'll turn the light on and off. And then, so we have the, the body here and the waist. So now all we have to do is take these here and then again we'll use a little bit of Loctite. And the nice thing about this is now all of our connections are nice and protected inside of here. Give it just a little extra And now we have the, the lower body here. I've taken and run a piece of the quarter inch clear tubing up through this 90 and then through this T. So now we can just take our wires as you can see now they're just coming right out all the way down through and the nice thing is now we can push these through we're not going to have to worry about if we're scratching the wire at all and then plus now when we go to actually tighten this on here now these wires can rotate inside the tube and so they're not going to get all twisted up. There we go. And so now that we have those coming down to that tube, we'll take the rest of the straight leg Run the wires through that. And there we go. Now we have our nice robot. The wires going all the way through, coming out down here. We have another little two and a half inch to a coupler for his head. And now you can see we have our completed robot. So now that we have our robot completed, the what I want to do on this particular one is I want to paint it a hammered black so I'm a big fan Let's see if I can get that right there it's a rust-oleum universal hammer painted and primer all-in-one uh, works really good gives these when it's all said and done you'll see how this looks looks really nice gives it that kind of you know not a bright shiny look but a little bit you know weathered and rugged kind of a look to it uh, this has been one of my favorites as far as the the paints that I've used what we'll do is we'll tape up around the light uh, to keep all the any paint out of the, the light socket. And then what I do on this fitting, and I've already loosened this, but I'll take this outside screw off, set that outside, and then I can just 
put a little daub of paint on the very end of this so it doesn't get black. And the rest of it I don't mind getting black and that'll help keep it all from, it won't get any rust or won't, uh, you know, it'll stay a, a nice continuous look throughout the life of the lamp. And so what I do, since we're not going to be going crazy with painting this, is I just take tape, put it on sticky side out, around the light bulb and then come back over the top of it and now you have a nice cap over that that just sets down against that and that way you're not getting a bunch of uh, of the glue from the tape or anything on the light bulb but even if you do just tape it around it's pretty easy just to clean up the light bulb that's not a a problem and then you just take a little tiny tab right there on the end and that way the tip of the valve will stay that brass color so it'll match as when you put this back on and then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to spray paint this and here we have the painted pipe lamp uh, mounted on a book. As you can see here, just turn the, the shield, turns on and off the light. And if you have anything uh, you want to know about how we mounted it to the book or how we built these, we'll put the uh, links to those videos in the descriptions. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.